Welcome, let's do a quick paper analysis for the UPSC optional paper for geography this time. Now the paper was relatively uh, conceptual I would say. The questions were from most of the syllabus so let's discuss them one by one. So the very first question talks about geostrophic wind. So if we go down to our lecture 44 where we have discussed the wind there we have talked about the circulation, we have talked about the uh, basics of air circulation where we have focused on Coriolis effect and geostrophic wind. Uh, the next question talks about aqua ranching and cowboys. Now this is basically the cultivation in the ocean similar to the ranching. These are ranching which occurs on the land. This is the ocean ranching that is uh, the seaweed farming, the fish culture that occurs in the ocean and how it is related. The next is the natural process of soil enrichment and its impact on food production. So this is an indirect kind of question which basically pertains to organic farming and how do you do that. The next question is talking about deep ecology. So if you move on to le lecture 73, here you would see the concepts of deep ecology which are given, right? So if I hover here, you can see deep ecology. We are bringing one more lecture. A summary of that has already been put on the channel. And this talks about the lecture on uh, shallow ecology, the difference between deep ecology and shallow ecology. Just to summarize, deep are dark green ecologists who believe that environment should remain pristine. Shallow ecologists believe that we can take the maximum worth out of the environment if we are using it for a, a good purpose. The next is a question on economic geology. Again, we have discussed the basics of economic geology below. Paleomagnetism and uh, the question on seafloor is spreading. So if I move on to lecture 11 here, that talks about uh, paleomagnetism and then seafloor is spreading. So understanding both these concepts, you will be able to write the answers and how do you write the questions and the answers for the same are available in the uh, question bank here. So that's that's a way of answer writing, right? Uh, the next is anticyclone. So again, anticyclone covered in lecture 47, I believe. So yes, cyclones, uh, cyclones and anticyclones are covered here. Ocean currents, how they are generated, come back to the section on oceanography in lecture 55 uh, ocean currents have been discussed in detail so ocean currents how they are generated with a special reference to pacific ocean uh, the thermohaline circulation again becomes extremely important so the concept of brine rejection must be included with this answer the next is a question on local winds again the section on winds that we talked about has a concept on local winds so you can understand the concept and write it there penny plane and geomorphic cycles so under the lecture 28 we have talked about geomorphic geomorphic cycles in detail, the various theories of geomorphic cycle and the concept of penny plane. The next is uh, the marine resources. Now when it comes to uh, marine resources, we need to understand that uh, various concepts have been propounded which basically talks about how uh, the ocean resources can be managed and we have covered biotic resources, marine resources separately and then we have also talked about marine pollution. So if you want to search something, you can control, uh, do control app and type marine pollution. So you can see we are, here we have the ocean acidification and the concept of marine pollution that is again discussed right so you can just search for that the next is the soil profile question uh, the lecture 60 talks about the soil profile inversion of temperature again under climatology we have the very first lecture that talks about temperature and the concepts and the inversion of temperature are discussed here the next talks about the section B which is human geography under human geography the first section is aerial differentiation so lecture uh, starting from I believe Yes. So here we have kick starting for human geography. From lecture 116, we have the lecture uh, for human geography that it starts. And here, uh, coming down to lecture 120 is the aerial differentiation, right? Then we have food and nutrition problem. If I move down here under uh, the lecture 139, we have discussed food and nutrition problems in detail. Food security, again, an important topic. Then so these are the now the remaining questions are basically a conventional type of questions which are asked every time so it talks about Malthus theory I won't introduce the lecture numbers here all of those are definitely available here so just to give you an idea so Malthus theory uh, if 
if you want it's covered in lecture 175 if i scroll down okay so here we have malthus marx and demographic transition so there has been a question on malthus uh, below i have seen another question which was pertaining to demographic transition right then we have questions related to gender equity and human development urban expansion the limits to growth model losh model uh, sustainable land management migration the concept of migration then rural settlement again uh, the concepts of settlement have been discussed here so if i move on to lecture 150 around that's the section on settlement so urban geography and rural settlement right so rural settlement and urban settlement classification has been given here planning uh, regions have been discussed in uh, later sections uh, in the sections on regional geography region and the types of region where we have discussed the planning regions and then we have also talked about the concepts related to uh, the uh, concepts of uh, this boundaries and frontiers so boundaries and frontiers again discussed in the political geography lecture right coming on to the second part which is the paper two now paper two um the sea locate the map locations were relatively simpler this time so it's not that difficult and in our previous question banks in the map location section we already have more than um thousand plus map locations so you can refer those for more details okay now coming on to the question sections here the very important thing is some of the sections here pertain to the contemporary topics now contemporary a set of that we have included here now the questions pertain to let's say the india's earth observatory technology system for weather forecasting uh, national green tribunal and its efforts similarly there have been a question on millets as i discussed before a very important topic we have covered that in detail geostratic significance of indian ocean now uh, in the section on the political uh, geography of India uh, we have covered the concepts which con contain and relate to the political theories uh, in the industries we have covered various industries one of which is a pharma industry now pharma was obviously important from GS point of view because this time vaccine and the rollout of the vaccine made pharma industry into the limelight now whenever you have a question like this from volume to value uh, we need to bring in a statistics so if you are able to bring in the latest statistics even if you are able to do it for one company or for one um, one uh, one we could say medicine that would be a good idea to explain or express your answers uh, petroleum energy and India's geopolitical concerns so the geopolitics uh, and the resources of geopolitics we have covered in detail in lecture 195 I believe we have covered some of those and then uh, we have covered the geopolitics uh, if I search here right so geopolitics of world resources if you could see here uh, it's the lecture 173 we have covered it in detail right then uh, talking about migration uh, the 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 rate at which the fertility uh, is falling and the median age is rising the changes in the demographic dividend talking about the urban planning the issues related to it india's trade policy uh, the various industry again pharma was one of the industry jute is another industry that has been brought into account then the basic question on physiographic division on eastern guards uh, cultural regions of india now these are general questions that have been asked the initial ones pertain to contemporary topics and the later ones are relatively general topics that have been asked then uh, questions related to green energy initiatives and india as in signatory signatory of paris uh, agreement a very important question was a highly expected question again this time uh, indira gandhi canal and the command area program we have discussed in detail in the lectures uh, tourism types of tourism eco tourism as one of those has been discussed so those are some of the important topics that have been covered this time uh, and in the lectures as well we have gone through some of the topics that uh, you can directly locate there and the contemporary topics we keep on adding with every revision and would be part of this uh, section again for example contribution of ngt to various fields we would uh, this time it was just forest conservation which was asked but uh, you can have other aspects where ngt rule can be asked so we would cover a comprehensive lecture on that which would be added to the system very soon so stay tuned for the updates from our side wish you very good luck and in case you have any questions or queries you can feel free to connect back and 
and the model answer practice and answer writing has been given here uh, we do have our contact number which is given at the end of the page uh, you can connect to us through this number wish you very good luck have a wonderful day ahead